cutscene. And that was it. And then it was just all about the uh, tentacle monster versus the wing monster. Gleam and Dark Gun. Anyway, game one. Let's get to it. Uh, sticking with Yellow Team. Very nice. We got King Arc immediately up airing his own teammate a couple of times. Let's see what happens here. Trapped in the middle. Blue Team. And wow, Frozen stops a Mega Man charge shot with the action team. Very nice. And Arc Thunder wreaking havoc on all three opponents. Oh my gosh. What are they going to be looking for right now? SBT's in an edgeguard situation. Chance, he started with Arc with uh, Firefox, but no luck. Ooh. Let's see, let's see, let's see. That's, uh, Jewel's going for the edgeguard, but no such luck. Frozen's out of the corner. Ooh, very nice. And SBT is... Where did he go? Oh, my God. All right, King Ark's going to try that recovery. What's he looking for? Nothing really. Breaks, breaks rank. Goes after uh, Frozen instead. Nice. He's keeping trapped in the corner. But in the meanwhile, Jewel catches the, catches the uh, kill. Oh, my God. It's absolute mayhem here in Pokemon Stadium 2. All right, Jules charged up to Arc Thunder. Let's see what he does with that. I think he's looking for a time to shoot it off, but we'll have to see. Arc Thunder does create a gigantic circular hitbox on contact, so it could be effective for hitting two teammates at once. And here we go. King Arc's got his patent pending uh, edge guards going on. Very nice. And Jewel, right behind him, providing support with Elf Thunders and forward smashes, gets, the f gets a kill on Frozen. First stock. And that kind of ingenuity is why is why Jewel just ran out of L wins and died. Oh, low recovery. Low recovery by SBT. King Arc unable to capitalize. All right, they're both in, in a recovery situation. What are they going to do about it? And they're trying to get back on. But we're seeing that classic pressure from Fox. Back air, back air, nair, nair. Oh my god, they're doing such a great job of keeping it up. Every time someone gets through SBT, Frozen is there to just bash them off the, bash them off the stage with back air. All right, all right, all right. Oh my god. SBT incorrectly reading a roll. And, wow, all right. Catches a kill with forward air from Jewel. Yeah, Jewel's trying to make his way back on stage, and now King Arc is trying to make his way back on stage. It's like the blue team is fighting consecutive 2v1s right here. I mean, 1v2s. And here we go. Ooh, nice. King are catching Frozen's re-grab on the ledge. I'm loving it. Blood, gar, mayhem. I can't take it. Here we go. King Ark and Jewel have made their way to the center of the stage. And King Ark has made his way to the top blast zone. Never mind. Now what do we got here? And just like that, Jewel is out from a very good combo from Frozen and uh, SVT. King Arc has to make this. King Arc is going to have to secure a kill really quickly, or this is going to just snowball very fast. He's doing a good job holding down the fort, but the moment they catch one of these uh, team combos. All right, what do we got? King Arc's on the ledge. He's trying to. He's rum ruminating over what he wants to do next. Ooh, a betrayal, a betrayal of trust from Frozen. SBT looking dejected. Let's see how this goes. They're basically at even stocks, even stock, even percent. How are they gonna finish this off? Wow, and King Arc is ahead by 0.1%. It's amazing, he could time him out like this. Ooh, Frozen going for the raw smash. He did, he went for a prediction on King Arc just approaching, but he just didn't do it. All right, runs in. Frozen, keep, keeping him honest with some explosive flames. Nice. Oh, my gosh. What do we got? Mm, Frozen's doing, going for oppression. Back air, back air, back air. King Arc. Ooh, here comes the Nair. He might be able to live that. He's alive. 
The next one might kill, though. No. And King Arc did a very good job there. He got in front of Frozen, so Frozen would not be able to get a back throw or a back air for the kill. Nice. Tries to two-frame. No luck. Frozen gets the grab. Back throw. That might not be enough. It's not. Two sparks from Frozen, but no luck. Air dodge to the ledge, of course. What's Frozen up to? Oh, no! That's game. Very nice from Frozen. Catching that back air. It kind of stinks, but when you're at the ledge against Palutena, the best thing you can do is, you know, when you're at a really high percent, is shield, because she can't back throw you in that situation. The best she could do is go for like a down throw confirm, but if your percent is high enough, it just doesn't work. But it's annoying, because if she sends you off the stage, she could nair you, down air you, explosive flame you. There's a whole bunch of things she could do to just harass you as you try to make your way back to the ledge again. But shielding can be very helpful. And in the meanwhile, if Palutena is at the ledge, not getting grabbed is uh, priority number one. Anyway, the game begins anew. Let's see how it goes. <clears throat> Jesus. What do we have? King Arc and... Oof. Trying to get into a rhythm here before I start saying anything. Well, I can say the blue team was in a really bad juggle situation there. Just like that, King Arc has lost first stock. Taken mercilessly by the god, the vengeful god, Palutena is up here. Here we go, neutral begins again. SPT going for jabs. Frozen mistiming the up smash afterwards. And then King Arc. Busting the hard knuckle right into Jewel's head. Nice. Jewel hits two really hard uh, 11 sword uh, aerials. And unfortunately, he's just losing his stock for his trouble there. Nice. I do have to say that Jewel has been doing an excellent job. Uh, at the very least, protecting uh, King Arc whenever he's been getting hit. Unfortunately, Jewel has also hit King Arc himself his fair share of times, so he's going to have to be careful about his spacing and the moves he chooses to put out. All right, King Arc's in a recovery situation. This is tough. We saw in the previous game that King Arc has a pretty hard time getting back on the stage against Palutena. Let's see, Jewel's leading the charge. Arcfire, that might be a kill. Yes, it is. Up smash. He's gonna back off and let King Arc fight his battle alone. Almost got killed by a back air for that. Was it worth getting the Arc Thunder together? It sort of was, actually. All right. Ooh. Frozen coming in with a platform cancel. I love it. King Arc right off the stage. Nice. He baited out the early recovery from Frozen and tried to two frame it, but unfortunately missed his timing a little bit. Catches an uncharged forward smash. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. What happened next? I love that King Arc timed his ledge roll perfectly to when the uh, crash bomber would explode. Perfectly safe return to stage. Oof. SBT hitting those back airs, though. It's gonna happen. It seems like this one can go to blue team as long as uh, Jewel can keep his stock. Keep it nice and healthy. You never know, SPT might just run in and throw out the Rob Smash. I know that's a thing Foxes like to do in uh, team battles, for sure. Similar to the uh, Bowser Bomb strategy that I mentioned earlier. Let's see. SPT's gonna look for it. He tries a, uh, ooh! He tries to catch a Down Smash 2 frame. He gets up air and loses his stock for his trouble. All right. Rosa needs to get that kill on King Arc, but I'm very, very nice. King Arc getting the ledge trump, and Jewel immediately reading the situation and getting a Thoron right where Frozen would be to try to avoid getting punished by King Arc. And here we go. Hey, you can't just do that. You have to time it perfectly. Ooh. Are you kidding? What? Yo, Jewel made a perfect read on uh, 
Frozen teleporting deep into the stage, and then, you know, how about I just watch the replay? Look at this. Oh my god, he reads the teleport, gets, and then he's just like, King Arc sees the situation, he's just like, I'm ready for this. I'm ready. Real Mega Buster! Very nice. Oh my god. <clears throat> this is winner's finals. This is a three out of five, isn't it? Oh. Bless my, oh my stars and goddess, bless my heart. <laughs> Let's see where we go next. Kalos Pokemon League, an excellent choice. Team battle. Let's see, whose selection is this? This is Yellow Teams. I'm not sure about Palutena, but I'm sure this can be a good Fox stage. The wall jump can help give him a much needed layer of depth to his uh, recovery mix-up game. Any situation where Fox makes it back to the stage is a situation Fox likes indeed. Oh my god. Alright, got a lively battle going on here. King Arch is doing a great job putting up the stone wall. Still looks a little lost as to what to do since King Ark's handling everything. Yeah, here now. Seriously, yellow team is on the ropes with this uh, wall of projectiles for the two of them. It's like it's like King Ark. Oh, ooh, that was interesting. It's like it doesn't matter who's in front. If Yellow Team is recovering, they just got all the options covered. Let's see what we got here. All right, King Ark taking first blood off SPT's life. Blue Team up by two whole stacks. Let's see how it goes. have here. King Ark can recover a SBT on recovery, but chooses to leave and help out uh, King Ark return to the stage. I like it. Frozen was completely blindsided by that one, that's for sure. Oof. Here comes King Ark trying to get the edge guard. No such luck. All right, we're back to neutral again. Wow! King Ark with the, the flame burst. Picking up two kills just like that. Unfortunately, one of them was his teammate. All right, what do we have here? And look at that. Jewel is... Jewel is moving around as if this was just a singles match. She's just like, man, I'm just going to keep throwing these things around. Behold my swords. Behold my tomes. Oh my god. Blue team has such an advantage right now. This one's looking like a done deal for... Uh, Jewel and King Ark. I need to show some signs of life, but it isn't easy. And Frozen! Frozen went so deep. Frozen went deeper than he could afford to, trying to edge guard Jewel, but failed. Very nice. I like SVT's decision to go off the stick. Amazing. And. Okay, so apparently you can punish Vox Illusion on shield with Mega Upper. Like, SVT is looking a little surprised at that. Like, you can do that? Oh, no. Yes. Can please continue on. Sally forth, young jewel. What will the next tra stage be? Pokemon Stadium 2. Guys, I love this stage, but there are eight other legal stages. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Oh, Devin's like, oh, just take it easy there, man. Game four begins. Let's see what happens. Yeah. 
I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. It's just complete mayhem right there. It was beautiful mayhem, but Here we go. Frozen. Frozen is getting ready for the spin cycle right now. Oh my god! A double back air combo. King Arc's back air into Jules' back air. One of the fastest kills, and now King Arc. Oh no! What is happening? Oh my god! So King Arc accidentally spiked his own teammate, and SBT just failed to recover properly, unfortunately. He went on a diagonal trying to uh, trying to uh, mess up the spacing of how you were supposed to spike him, but unfortunately he just got caught with a stage of pineapple. Much to his own charge in. And there we go, that's King Arc's first stock. God, all these players lost their first stock in the blink of an eye, I gotta say. Oh. teammates going for edgeguard. Look at that, they both jumped off the stage. Wow. This is like two distinct 1v1 edgeguard situations right now. And who's gonna break rank first? All right. And did that entire mess. Jules, the first one to lose his stock. King Arc did a good job avoiding getting caught in a 2v1 team combo right there. So good on him. So guys, is SVT gonna try to edgeguard? Yes, he is. King Arc goes for the two frame, but no such luck. Jewel, catching another up air. That Levin sword, so powerful. Also better be careful. He doesn't want to just lose that stock. Jeez, Jewel and King Arc just keep putting Yellow Team into such dire straits. Here we go. Jewel just broke ranks, ignored SPT completely because he wants to get that kill on Palutena. He knows what it's going to mean for the game if, if uh, Frozen can be taken out right now. Nice. A down smash for the troubles. They're both at kill percent now. The old team is probably going to focus their efforts on trying to kill uh, Jewel because they really want to get this into a 2v1 if they can manage it. Hmm. Jewel was trying to space out the explosive flame without actually having to put his shield up, but it didn't work out that way. Here comes a back throw. He's in, big, he's in big trouble now. Does a high recovery to avoid getting killed. SPT not seeing the situation. He could have gotten an up smash there. But in the whole meanwhile, uh, SPT like single-handedly got King Arc to kill percent. And just like that. And Palutena's teleport can pick up crash bombers off people's bodies. I did not know that either. All right, what do we got? And Frozen is the first one to lose his stock here. This isn't over yet, though. But it's hard. Hmm. Here come the arc fires. Oh, I like. Oh, he killed his own teammate. And the crowd is cheering for the team kill. I can't believe it. These crowds, this crowd is a bunch of savages. And wow, and SVT clinching out game four. We are on a two-two situation. Returning to base. Ah, oh, he's returning to base. He can't return to base yet. There's still one more. There's still one more to go, as Fox would say. Now, I assume they're just gonna go to uh, Kalos again. Especially since it was not banned by Frozen and SVT, and that's the stage where they won. There'd be no reason not to pick it again, so. Unless they're being stubborn and just want the run back. No, no, they're playing it smart here. Team battle. Here we go, the game five. The much anticipated game five of this grand winner's finals. Three, two, one, yeah, this is a good game five song. <laughs> 
really brings up the tension. <clears throat> it's going to be up to the players to follow suit, live, live up to that tension's expectations. Now, Jewel did mention this earlier. It seems like Palutena's like patented narrow times three combos don't come into play very often in doubles. Just because they take a while and, you know, the victim's teammate could be like, wait, cut that out. <laughs> Just like that, a very early first blood from King Arc on SBT. But Frozen is still very healthy right now, so this is still sort of an even game right now. Want to see what they do with this blessing. Oh, Frozen. I can only imagine Frozen went for a tilt explosive flame right there, but it didn't work out. Go, our Thunders. I gotta cheer for Robin. Crowd loves Robin, baby. Instead of trying to edgeguard King Arc, they're working on uh, Jewel's second stock right now. They're trying to do a 2v1 and get a quick kill, but no such luck. All right, King Arc and Vesper in the corner. What are they going to do about it? What can they do about it? I guess an Arc Thunder. Arc Thunder has been being very helpful there with its massive hitbox. It's been able to activate and then knock, knock opposing enemies away. On. And Jewel picks up Ledge up air, but, only, but he hits King Arc and kills him. Oh my god, it's the Palutena spin cycle. There we go, King Arc finds the forward air, not a kill yet. King Arc trying to get a very sneaky uh, Ledge Trump into a back air, I assume, but no luck. All right, what do you have, King Arc? Oh, I like it. He quickly read the teleport direction, but he wasn't able to get there in time. The Frozen dropping the ball in the up smash follow-up from SBT's jab, rapid jab combo. Ooh, nice reflect. Good reactions from Frozen. He's going for the for the edge guard. Throws out the tilt explosive flame. Beautiful. Jewel stalling his recovery to avoid getting hit. And meanwhile, on the other side of the stage. And now it's time for King Art to come back to the stage, but he's dead from uh, Frozen's back air, actually. Jewel catching the up smash, gets another kill, and now we have SBT on his final stock. But King Art and Jewel are both breathing their last breath right now, and they're both on final stock now. Yellow team, a full stock up right now. The saving, the saving win from game four that SBT was that able to pull out. It might have been able to mark a turning point here. The onus is on uh, Jewel and King Earth. They want to bring it back now. They're going to need a really solid play here. Doing a great job of building up that percent. But at the same time, SV2 is doing his best just to be a nuisance to avoid them getting any uh, momentum started. Here we go. The back throw with King Earth as his protection. And at the end of SVT's stock, he's going to take it. We have to see how this goes. The goddess Palutena, the endangered species, is gasping her last breath of air here. The upper catches the kill. This is really dangerous. SPT and King Arc are both pretty damaged, but messing up the Nosferatu. That, that was Jewel's chance to pick up a lot of health for free. Let's see what happens. Catches the back air, not a kill, but he's off stage, giving him a chance to pressure King Arc. Gets another up air. Oh my God, Morty is playing. SBT is playing like a like a man possessed right now. Look at him go. He's just moving. He refuses to let any momentum come in. He is definitely in the zone. Catch, tries another nose for Atu, but no luck. Throws the book away and it keeps him safe. Oh my God, King Arc and Jewel just can't find any momentum right here. But the Leaf Shield is a good momentum stopper. That's for sure. Here comes the forward air. All right, this is getting into dangerous territory. This is the part where a combo into a smash attack could theoretically kill SBT. 
so he needs to be careful. Catches another back error. What do we got? Here comes the arc fire. Out of arc fires. Can't edge guard. Forward error. Not enough to kill SBT. They're gonna try some kind of edge guard here. What do they got? Oh my god. King Arc going for forward smashes, but no luck. Dash attack. Rob Jewel doesn't have his uh Levin sword. Alright, here's the Thoron. That's the game winner. And that's it. Also kills King Arc. Oh my god. What a great match. Blue team of Jewel and King Arc takes it with a very good comeback, I gotta say. They were down by a whole stock, but they just brought it back. Oh, the maniacs.